Welcome back to the channel guys. In today's video, we're gonna go over the top seven accessories for bow hunting whitetail deer. So let's get to the video. Guys, I've shown this in a previous video and it's not, it is just something extra. But if you'll get some paracord and one of those $1 carabiner clips from Harbor Freight, it's a great way to go ahead and tie your backpack to the tree once you get up to the tree. That's just kind of a bonus round. We're going to start out with number one. The number one thing that I found to be one of the most helpful, especially when you're in early season bow hunting, it's always quiet out in the woods, especially here. We don't get the wind like you do back in Oklahoma. But if you'll listen to this, this is a great way carry water with you out in the field. Those are much more quiet than this. If you guys can hear this, listen to this. I mean, that's what you're gonna hear up in the tree. That brings me to one of my next things. And again, this is another little bonus round, but if you're like me and you like the cheese crackers, the peanut butter crackers, any of that, can you hear this? If you're healthier than me and you're gonna eat an energy bar, it's still gonna have that same sound in the woods. But you can open all those before you leave, put them in a Ziploc. You don't even have to seal this thing, guys, because you're gonna eat it before dark. Let's just face it, it's gonna get eat pretty quick. But you can leave this little Ziploc bag right there in the top of your backpack. And now you've got water that's quiet and you've got snacks that are quiet. The next thing I'm gonna show you and I've, I've not showed this in previous videos ever, but I'm cheap. So my bow hoist is another $5 or $1 little carabiner from Harbor Freight. And you got maybe $1.50 worth of paracord. And you can tell with as many knots in this paracord, this is how I get my bow or whatever you're using to hunt with up in the tree with you. The carabiner makes it really nice, but you can see I've got a bunch of knots tied in this. This has a bunch of stories that can go along with it because I've carried this thing for probably 20 years. All right, so say we're at a spot, we're fixing to hang our stand and or our, our platform, and we're ready to start bow hunting, but we notice that there's a limb right in the way. You can take your little carabiner that you've got tied for your bow hoist, throw it up there around the limb. Most of the time that carabiner will be heavy enough that you can go ahead and grab that limb. And now you can tie this back to a tree with your extra piece of paracord that you carry around. And that, again, is just another way that you can have more than one use with your bow hoist. All right, one of my next favorite accessories is if you're in an area where you can trim the limbs and stuff like that, the Silky makes a folding saw. And I promise you this, you can't beat silky for what you get for the money. These are some of the most sharp saws you'll ever money can buy. And it just makes real easy work of cutting a little limb out of the way, something like that. This next one goes right along with the saw, but it's actually in my mind, it's more quiet and it's more efficient. And that is a ratcheting set of rose nippers. And I'm going to show you how they work real quick. Just like you would think they would. You squeeze it, cuts it nice and quiet. You don't get that. You don't get that saw running across a limb type sound with this. It's a lot more quiet. Now I'm gonna ridge it. I'm gonna show you on a thicker deal how well the ratchet works. You can actually cut much larger limbs than the rows, but I don't know if you heard that, but that just ratcheted it up. And then you can cut right through it. I'll do it one more time. This is actually kind of short, but there's the first ratchet of it. Let your hand back out. It ratches it again and then it cuts clean through. That's a lot more quiet most of the time than running a saw. The next item is something that started out specifically for saddle hunting but the more I've used it over the last seven years I use them around camp and it's just a phenomenal tool and that's the knee pads. We're going to show them to you next and what they were originally designed for when you're in a saddle you can kind of rest your knees against the tree. It takes all that pressure and you don't cut your knees up. But hunting public areas where they're full, deep, wide, and thick of stickers and cockaburrows, 
and you end up, say you're hiking out to your place and you got deer moving in on you, you can go down real easy, but you can kneel down, not get stickers in your knees. It works great when you're field dressing deer. It works great when you're putting your tent up and you're on your hands and knees crawling around banging in the tent stakes. It's just a phenomenal tool. I keep them with me all the time at this point. And then lastly, one of my new favorite tools that I'm really, really loving this year is this is, guys, this is just a really, really cheap binocular case. As you can see, I've got my grunt tube right here handy. I leave it sticking out like that. That way you can get it in and out. This grunt tube does have that more like a gas line type rubber so that it's not making noise when you're pulling it in and out, but it's right there up front and center if you need it. The next thing that I love about this is you've got your binoculars right here, front and center, if you need them. And then lastly, you guys know that all we do is bow hunt. I haven't gun hunted in years, but I've got a range finder right here, front and center. As I've seen this comment come up a couple of times on the saddle hunter forums when people are using this type of rig. How do you keep your bridge from rubbing on this and making a bunch of noise? So we're going to readjust the camera and I'm going to show you that as the final tip. And the basic idea and the problem and the question comes around, how do you go from a sitting position when you're in your saddle and not be interfering with your chest rig and then coming back up here a lot of times your bridge attachment points will start rubbing on the chest rig so what i found and this is what i'm doing i did put some of that stealth strip on these front two buckles because i don't ever take them off and then when you're making your move from there to here if you'll just kind of get in your habit it doesn't take much pressure just kind of pull that out just a little bit and then when you straighten up your back all of the stuff that would be rubbing, making contacts or popping noises is now out of the way and it's clear. And again, the chest rig is back where it's supposed to be. You'll notice that I'm also wearing this way lower than probably a lot of people are and I do that on purpose as well just to keep it out of my way. The next is gonna be a free tip for you guys, especially if you're saddle hunting. This is another tool that I've made and it's just basically, it's a Prusik knot tied up above my mechanical ascender so that if my mechanical ascender was to fail. And then lastly, I believe it's not a bad idea, guys, to go ahead and tie a stopper knot or whatever kind of knot you choose, which would also work as a backup in case your mechanical ascender failed. I don't honestly see that this is doing anything, but I will tell you what I do like about it. When you get over here and you're in that relaxed position, <laughs> it's just another place you can kind of hang your hands and I do enjoy that. When you're trying to make a short video, you obviously can't cover every accessory in the book. These are my favorite top seven. I'd love to hear a comment from you. If you'll comment down below, what's something that I missed? What is one of your favorites? And as always, we hope that you have a blessed week and let's get outside and make something happen. And until next week's video comes out, why don't you check out this video? Man, I don't know, this one over here is pretty dang good too. Uh, it's a tough choice. Maybe click on this video, I think you'll enjoy it. Ah, I don't, it, this one's pretty dang good. Why don't you guys watch that video until next week's video comes out. Again, we love each and every one of you. Stay safe out there in the woods and until the next video comes out. Uh, Click on one of them.